Doyle's Town Girl by Ryan Adams is going to be capoed on the third fret and otherwise played in standard tuning. For this song, you're going to need to know versions of a D, an A, an E minor, and then a G major. The opening riff is going to start off on a D chord, where you're going to put your first finger on the third string, second fret relative to our capo, and your ring finger will go onto the second string, third fret. You'll leave the first string open. You're going to strum from the fourth string, and you'll strum uh, really kind of, you're going to want to try to hit your pick across the fourth, third, and second strings after plucking the open first string, like. And then you're going to strum up twice, hitting the open first string and second string at the same time, like. And then you're going to move to an A chord. And the way that I think Ryan Adams, based on how I've seen him play, uh, this progression similarly before is he probably moves with his second finger leaving your first and ring finger in the exact same position that they're already in move with your second finger to the fourth string placing it on the second fret and then you'll repeat the same picking motion except for now you're plucking down on the open fifth string and you're going to strum up twice on the uh, Listening, listening to him play it, it sounds like he avoids the open first string in this first A and instead strums up on the second string and third strings that are fretted by your first and second finger. So, and then you move, uh, keep your first and second finger where they're, or your first and ring finger where they're at, and then move your second finger to the fifth string second fret, and you'll hit the open sixth string, and you'll strum across really all of the strings now. same two up strums now on just kind of all of the strings. So we've got a D, an A, this version of an E minor, leaving your first and ring fingers planted where they've been the whole time. And then the last chord of the intro is going to be a G chord. You're just going to move your second finger now to the sixth string relative third fret while again leaving your first and ring fingers planted where they were. And in moving to this G chord, it kind of hits and dies out and then goes kind of a chunk chunk again with an up down strum and that comes together sounding like from the beginning second time through the intro, like where I am right now, it just holds on the E minor chord. It doesn't go down into the chunk of the G. So first time through, D, A, E minor, and then G is, then back to the D, to the A, to the E minor, and just let the E minor die out. Then it goes into the verse where Ryan Adams starts singing, and the verse progression is going to be the exact same pretty much as the intro. You'll have the D chord, to the A chord, to the E minor chord, to a straight G chord, or not straight G chord, but straight G rhythm, without the chunk chunk part of the G. Then back up into the D, to the A, to the E minor. The second time through, the E minor dies, and then whenever you go to the G, it's that, that rhythm again. And then it goes back up in the D, to the A, to the E minor, back to the G, back up to the D, the A to the E minor, and here it dies on the E minor again before going to the chorus. The chorus is going to be our G. And again, in all of these chords so far, I've left my first and ring finger planted where they first started in that G chord, when or, or where they first started in that D chord at the beginning of the intro. Moving to the chorus, you're going to take your second finger and you're going to put it on the sixth string third fret for our G, the way we've been playing it, and the chorus will be G to the D. So you'll just alternate between your second finger being on the sixth string third fret to picking it up and then playing a D chord. And then whenever you go back to the G, instead of just going straight back to the G, you can hear Ryan Adams pull into it by up strumming uh, with his second finger on the sixth string second fret and then down with your second finger now jumping up one fret to the sixth string third fret. 
So the course is going to be G to the D. Hiccup. G to the D within that hiccup note. To the G, up to the D. And after doing that four times, it then goes to the A chord again. So put your second finger on the fourth string, second fret, and you'll be strumming with an open fifth string. And then at the end of the course, it goes to an E minor. And then it goes, it walks up to an F sharp note. So you're moving your second finger to the sixth string, second fret, leaving your first and ring where they've been. And then it comes on up to a G. Now in this G, Ryan Adams' main guitar, I think, keeps this shape. But by this point, there are other guitars coming in, and one of them has an open second string. And you hear one guitar doing something like... Something like that. So if you're playing along and you want to get that open B string feel, just in this E minor to the F sharp to the G run, pick up your ring finger and you can, uh, you can drone on that open B and kind of get the rhythm and the timing of that as well and it's sounding like back into the riff uh, progression. Oh, I missed something at the beginning really kind of important. That part right there. In the recording you can hear in the second time through the opening riff, and Ryan Adams kind of returns to this idea in the outro of the song too, you can hear this little riff taking place. that you're going to do that uh, so I'm reverting back to like the second time through the opening riff now you will strike down on your D chord twice one two and then you're going to hammer on with your pinky finger to the third string fourth fret and then you'll pick up your pinky finger to expose the still fretted third string second fret and then you'll pick up your pointer finger to expose the open third string and that's sounding like and then you'll move with your first finger to the fifth, uh, not fifth string, move with your first finger to the fourth string, second fret, and you're going to leave the third string open, and you'll be plucking now the A, the fifth string, with the third string open. And here you do the exact same movement with your pinky finger, except for you're doing it on the fourth string from the 4th string 2nd fret where your 1st finger is to pinky to the 4th string 4th fret. And then pick up the pinky again, your 1st finger is still there in the A position. And then you pick up your 1st finger and then you move into the E minor. And the second time through the intro that's where the E minor holds and dies before uh, picking back up into uh, the verse of the D. Very slowly, that riff is coming together. Sometimes I feel like in the E minor that you can also hear Ryan Adams return back to the fourth string, fourth fret, and then opening it back up some. So you, there's there's a lot to kind of be played around with in that progression along uh, long frets four and two of strings three and strings four. Like those notes are getting incorporated in that little riff of the D chord, A chord, E minor, and E minor chord. And those are the chords and the riffs to Ryan Adams' song Doylestown Girl. Hopefully this gives you an idea of how to approach that song.